Good morning, traders. I'm Michael Sabo, Senior Market Strategist with RJO Futures here on Wednesday, February 19th, bringing you some commentary here in the energy market. So let's get started here. Uh, April crude oil price is a little bit firmer out of the gates here. We're up about 42 cents right now, trading at 102.46. Uh, yesterday was really the big move. Market really kind of, you know, we were kind of consolidating. The market was losing momentum. We saw a break out there on the charts, a pretty strong update, held on to most of its gain. Highest uh, prices we've seen now uh, for this contract since August 28th. So we've really uh, uh, come a long way and kind of broke out here to the upside. Uh, Brent actually kind of quiet off about six cents, trading around uh, 11040. We've really seen the, the Brent WTI spread narrow. Give me a call, shoot me an email. You want to learn how to take advantage of that. A lot of opportunities there. Nat gas here. Take a look at front month uh, March nat gas here today, up 8.8 percent, uh, up a little over 48 cents, trading over six dollars. So big move there. Uh, back months following suit there a little bit, but not nearly as month. All the action there in the front month. So a lot of volatility there. There's certainly there's some opportunity there, but be cautious if you're trading nat gas. You want to talk about some risk management ideas? Uh, give me a call. Looking at the uh, complex, the R, uh, April RBOB uh, up slightly, up about uh, half a cent. And and the heat, uh, we're up about a penny and a half there, so a little firmer tone there as well. Now, what's really driving crude oil prices here right now? Well, a lot of traders are talking about, well, the cold weather that we've seen has created a big demand for the distillates, which in turn has created some demand, obviously, for the crude oil. i tell you what, I'm not buying it that much. Uh, uh, you know, when I look at what we've got going on there, you know, this cold weather is going to pass here uh, pretty soon. And, and, you know, when you look at our overall stockpile, something I've talked so much about, you know, in my opinion, we've got ample oil out there. The economic data, both globally as well as here in the States, continues to be just a roller coaster. So, yeah, we get some good reports, also followed up by some bad reports. Uh, the weaker dollar here recently has added a little bit of support to it. I think you got a short squeeze going on. Uh, and that's kind of what's been helping uh, drive prices higher. Yes, we are seeing a little the demand there, but you look at the capacity utilization report, um, and you know, in, in my opinion, we're not seeing a, a, a tremendous amount of demand there uh, for oil right now. And you know, if you look at our overall stockpiles again, we're we're running here just shy of the highest, about nine million barrels shy of the highest amount of stockpiles we've had for this time of year. Over ninety million barrels more than our lowest. Uh, amount of stockpiles here for this time of year. So my opinion, again, I think we've got ample oil out there. Um, EIA data is delayed a day because of the holiday, but we're going to be looking at that coming out here tomorrow. Traders are expected to see a draw of maybe one to one and a half million barrels. Uh, we did see, you know, this over the last couple of weeks here, uh, the oil uh, supplies in Cushing's fell there by about 4.2 uh, million barrels. But, you know, again, I, I just don't think that the recent uh, action in, in crude oil is reflective of what's really going on in the market right now. And I actually think there's going to be some good opportunity. As many of you know, I am a little bit bearish on that oil. It's all about how you play it. It's all about the strategies that you use to try to take advantage of it to protect yourself. Uh, right now, you know, you look at short-term technical indicators. They are very uh, overbought at this territory. But the chart pattern there has told a little bit of a different story. Even though we were losing a little bit of momentum and we got the breakout there yesterday, we have seen some higher highs and some higher lows. So, you know, you, you have to watch the chart patterns along with these short-term technical indicators. But look at where the prices have been at over the last four months. It's basically been trading in the low to high 90s range. And that's where I think the market is going to head back to. And I've got a strategy to try to take advantage of that. Uh, but you need to give me a call, shoot me an email so we can get into more detail. It's a bear put uh, ratio uh, spread. And uh, it's a little bit intricate how it works. But i got to tell you, uh, certainly uh, could give you a great opportunity to try to take advantage of a pullback in oil. Of course, remember that futures trading does involve a substantial amount of risk, may not be suitable for all traders. Good luck and good trading.